That's all right. So I'm gonna do a little bit of a speed test here. I'm gonna get Michael to go ahead of me. Hi there, it's Tim. And today I wanted to share with you the Apollo City Pro after having ridden it around for almost 400 kilometers. What do I like and what don't I like? And in fact, there are a bunch of things that I'm not really that thrilled about. And there are a bunch of things that I'm really happy with. So what I'm gonna do is gonna ride around Victoria. I'm gonna show you those things so you can make a decision as to whether or not it's the perfect commuter for you. One of the things I absolutely love about the Apollo City Pro is that it has almost silent motors. In fact, it's so silent that just now we're stopped here on the side and we're just taking a peek at some owls. And you know how quiet owls are when they kind of fly through the air? I'm not sure if you even know that, but they are super, super quiet. And if you're ever out and about where owls are flying over you, it's a really surreal experience. It's the same with the Apollo. When you're flying around in the Apollo, you kind of sneak up on people. So you do need to make sure you're using the integrated bell but otherwise people don't even hear you coming it's so quiet that's a combination of things like the motors being really quiet but it's also the suspension and the choice of tires it's just smooth when you're going along the tarmac in particular so anyway we're going to go take a look at some of these owls a little bit longer and then we're going to continue on and uh, share with you my thoughts of what i don't like and what i do like about the apollo something else i absolutely love about the apollo city are the brakes it has two mechanical drum brakes which is fantastic because of course if you're going through the rain if you're going through slush you don't have to worry about it. there's almost no maintenance involved you're not having to replace pads nothing it's just drum brakes super simple and it's got regen braking so right on the actual handlebars is the regen little th uh, little thumb throttle if you like and it's really sensitive it's super smooth and i just love riding it around on it so speaking of smooth and speaking of the fact that it's got those drum brakes the ip rating on this thing is fantastic it's got an ip rating of i think it's 66 or 64 or something i'll put it up here but it's basically like if you're going through puddles, you got nothing to worry about. And again, the drum brakes, you're not going to worry about it. If you hit the brakes, they're going to work with drum brakes, even in the wet. So these are things I'm absolutely loving. I'm going to share with you next what I think about the actual ride quality as I'm riding around the park. And then we're going to talk a little bit about range. The city's good on the bumps. Like we've got a bunch of uneven in here. And it's eating up the bumps, no problem whatsoever. Oh, we just did a one way, sorry. <laughs> we were on a one way. So with regards to the range on this, I absolutely think this is perfect for commuting. Uh, it's got a big enough battery that I never have to think about it when I'm going through the city. Um, I do find like if I was gonna go for a long ride, it's not designed for that. Uh, it's probably for me with my big butt on here, it's gonna be around that 25 kilometer mark, which is probably, um, like 15 miles without an issue, but uh, but for city work, oh, for commuting, this thing's absolutely amazing. As I was mentioning earlier, I do like the cruise control, but one of the things I find kind of odd is that when I'm indicating left or right, it kills the cruise control. Now, I don't know about you, but sometimes I'd be, you know, just cruising along and I don't need to slow down. Maybe I'm only going 20 or 25 kilometers an hour. I can turn at that speed, no problem. I just find that's a little bit irritating. I wish it didn't turn the cruise control off. Another thing that's a little anemic, it's the light up top here. It's at the right height, don't get me wrong. I love the fact that it's right up here and it turns on, no problem. But if you're gonna be riding around at nighttime, you're gonna want a stronger light. That's something I have found. So what I've been doing is I've been mounting a, a, an extra light on here, or I've been wearing a helmet that's got lights, lots of lights on it. And speaking about the uh, turn signals, they're lovely at night, but it would be nice to have them a little higher up, like maybe on the ends. I've seen that on some of the scooters. One other thing I do wanna mention is the app. The app is amazing and it sucks. What I mean by that is it does a whole bunch of things really, really well, and then it does a whole bunch of things not really well. For example, if I wanted to know how far I'd gone on a previous route, it's actually really difficult to know. But if you want to know things like how much battery life is in there, uh, in, left in the scooter, it's really pretty amazing. The map, eh, a little bit wonky on the map. Overall, the app's okay, but there are a couple of things that really need to be updated on that app. So, but other than that, let's continue on. Excuse me. What, you guys are back? You guys are back again? Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, we have three cars so far. Oh, really? Yeah. 
Okay, I'll... About a month. Perfect. Oh, no, it's no big deal. It's perfect timing. Take care. Welcome back. Oh, I could have got extra points. <laughs> All right, next up, we're going to be doing the Hill of Death because last time I did this, when I did the review, I messed it up. So we're going to be max power, the three levels on this. It's three different levels, which is great. But uh, last time I managed to not have it on the most powerful setting. So that's coming up next. All righty, next up is the Hill of Death. The Hill of Death. And it absolutely has no problems whatsoever getting up the Hill of Death. That's, that's terrific. And watch this regen. I didn't touch the brakes once. It just regened all the way. Love that. So first of all, it wouldn't be a Tim video if I didn't have some cake. So I'm gonna have a nice bit of cake here, but I did wanna share with you, I absolutely love the Apollo. It's absolutely a fabulous commuter. The Pro's got the dual motors, so it's getting me up and down the hills, no problem. The mud guards, yeah, the mud guards kinda suck. I mean, you know, that's something. The little handle at the back, love that thing. The app, yeah, it's, it's got its good, it's got its bad. The cruise control, it's beautiful. The motors being absolutely silent, love that. Overall, it's an absolutely fabulous commuter. And you know what? I suspect that for 2023, it's gonna be the best commuter of 2023. Because so far, I think for value and ride quality, it's just fabulous. And uh, it's got enough battery to get you around. So that with the regen brakings, love this thing. So two huge thumbs up, big guy approved. I'm gonna stay being a big guy by eating my cake. Big guy approved. Oh. And we're right here at Hidden Gem Cafe in Cook Street Village. Awesome cake. So I'm gonna do a little bit of a speed test here. I'm gonna get Michael to go ahead of me. I find that this thing will go about 50 kilometers an hour. So let's see if that happens here. I'm gonna wait all the way back here. Currently we're doing about 25. And action, here we go. I'm going to pass him. And we're doing about 48. 